If you've been looking at my other videos, I've done three now on comparing a bunch of different torque wrenches and torque screwdrivers. I think you've probably figured out that these are my, my favorites after watching the videos, but a lot of people have been asking, what did you end up going with? So let me just tell you, it was the fix-it sticks. Now, not to take away from these two, they're both really great units and they both have things I really liked about them. I liked how this one adjusted. I do like how this one adjusted. The window was just a little tough on this one. And a lot of this came down to size and, and portability. Uh, this just wasn't practical for what I needed and it was a little bit bigger and heavier than I wanted. Same thing with this. It's a great case. It has a lot of room to do different things, but it just didn't fit my needs. The Fix-It Sticks uh, was simple, it's easy, it's repeatable, and it does what I need without worrying about dials and, and cases. And so let me talk a little bit more about this. None of these are really bad units. I think all of these serve a purpose for people. I think that there is um, something really great about all of them. So again, I'm not bashing any of these. I'm just saying for my needs, this is what fit and I'm gonna tell you why here. Now, first thing about Fix-It Sticks. When I did the past videos, I had some interesting comments from people. They said, hey, you know, Fix-It Sticks, they're really a bike company. They're not, you know, gun friendly. They're not 2A. Uh, you know, I had a couple weird comments and you know, I figured why dance around it. So I actually called the owner of Fix It Sticks and talked to him. And, and I just told him point blank. I said, hey, some people have speculated that you may not be totally gun friendly, that it was just a side business that grew out of uh, the biking business and that you're just profiting off uh, the gun people, even though you may not be very gun friendly. And he goes, I have no idea where you heard that. He goes, I could not tell you that is, is totally untrue. Uh, he goes, I am absolutely second amendment. He goes, I wouldn't be selling the products if I wasn't. And, um, he goes, I, I can promise you that, uh, that this is not being sold under false pretenses or anything like that. And, and that made me feel good. I felt like he was being very genuine. Uh, he was not offended that I brought it up because he understands there's a lot of things out on the internet and he was happy to talk about it with me. Super nice guy, by the way. And he is the current owner. He is not the original owner. And I don't know, again, I can't speak to anything else and he couldn't speak to it other than to say that as the current owner, he is absolutely uh, invested in the 2A um, you know, side of the business. So uh, if you were considering Fitzik Sticks but had heard you know, maybe something weird about it, all I can tell you is that from what he told me, uh, it is absolutely a gun-friendly business. So let's get to the heart of it, which is uh, what do I like about it? Why does this work for me? Well, let's back up a minute and talk about what I used to carry. So this is my Chapman kit. It's got a handle, it's got extensions, it's got a little ratchet here, uh, and it's got a ton of bits. And I love these things. I've got two of them. I have a smaller version that I used to keep here at my shop. This one used to go with me everywhere in my gun bag. And it always left me feeling like I was covered for anything. I mean, really some really esoteric bits in here and stuff like that, but it is bulky and it is heavy. Um, and you have to remember when I say heavy, it's because everything adds up, right? Like you can say this isn't heavy on its own, but you add three or four more things that aren't heavy and suddenly things start getting heavy. And I'm starting to do a lot more traveling. I'm starting to fly with a lot more gear. Weight matters, size matters, but it also matters that you have what you need. So I've been really nervous about getting rid of this. And, and that's where the fix it sticks came in. So first off, from the actual torque side of it, I really came to love the torque limiters. I was not a big fan, as you know, of the all-in-one torque limiter. For me, it just didn't fit my needs. I hated the way it worked personally, and, and that's just me. I know people like them. It's just not my thing. Uh, these, however, I loved having you know, an actual 15-inch pound, and then I had a 45-inch pound, and then it's got a really nice T-handle, uh, very small form factor. Uh, I've been using this for weeks now. I flew with it to Tennessee. I was never wanting for anything. In fact, every single thing I needed to adjust, whether it was my rad on my stock, whether it was scope rings, bases, uh, assembling my gun when I was there, I had every piece I needed and I have not swapped out any of the bits. And it's funny because there was even one time where I thought, man, I don't have the right bit. And it turned out that uh, I had tried the same bit twice and forgotten about the one next to it. So I thought I'd pulled it. Turns out I did have the right bit. So everything in here worked exactly how I needed. However, I was, when I got back from Tennessee, thinking, and I said, well, now that I know this is what I want to stick with, 
uh, is this the actual fix it stick kit that I want? And the, and the short answer was no. Now this is the two limiter set. It runs 112 bucks. I think I paid a couple bucks less cause I had, um, a 10% coupon from him. Uh, and so, you know, it was like a hundred bucks or something like that. But when I ordered it, he was nice enough. You can email him and say, Hey, I placed an order. I'd like to, um, have these two torque limiters if they don't have a combo on the website you like. So he did that for me. Uh, he'll do it for anybody. And, and so I had this kit, but when I got back, I said, I know I'm going to stick with the fix it stick. So what am I going to do? I went ahead and ordered the four limiter kit. And, uh, again, I emailed him first said, Hey, I want to order the four limiter. Uh, you don't have the exact combination of, of limiters that I want. And he said, no problem. Let me know what you need. I said, also, I'd like to upgrade. In fact, I should bring this back out. So this is the standard T handle and it, it works great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it other than you have to reposition it if you are, um, you know, or you hold this little thing and you try turning on it, which isn't bad, but he does make a ratcheting handle. And I said, Hey, your four, uh, limiter kit doesn't have a ratcheting handle. What can we do about that? He goes, let me send you a custom invoice. He added 20 bucks, which is less than the upgrade cost. If I were to do it, um, or how should I say it? It's cheaper than buying the kit and then buying the, the wrench. Uh, so he went ahead and did that again. He'll do it for anybody. And, uh, so for 200 bucks, I now have a kit that really fulfills all of my needs. I always felt like maybe there was going to be a time I wish I had a couple more limiters. So that's why I went with the four. Plus I like the case. Uh, if I want to add another limiter down the line or anything like that, this gives me plenty of space to do it. It does come with an extension, which I really like. And it does allow if I want to get another extension to put it over here. It's the exact same, uh, set of actual like torques and, and Phillips and all that stuff. Same 14 bits. You're not, you're not getting anything more there. You're just getting two more limiters. That's literally it. And I got the ratcheting head. So normally this kit is 180. So you're saving a few bucks. Normally I just happen to spend a little more because of the upgrade there. I really like this case though. I feel like, um, this case while great, I think this one gives me a little more protection. I can hold it a little bit more kind of like a book if I need to get stuff out of it without worrying about something falling out. So, you know, again, that's just a me thing, but it seems to work. And I just really love the form factor. Here's the best part. I have now eliminated having to carry my Chapman kit with me. I still, to this day, uh, after several weeks now and doing a lot of different things, have not needed any bit that wasn't in here. And the great thing is if I do find a bit that I need, I've got some extra space in here. Now I can throw it in. It's not a big deal. Uh, which again, is kind of one of the reasons I wanted this case. So, uh, that's what I went with. It doesn't mean it's the best. It just means it's the best for me. And, uh, you know, I, I think there's a lot of places where this works. Well, I fly a lot more now. I don't want to worry about not having something, but I also don't want to carry my entire shop with me. So now I know that I have the same kit that I have on a daily basis that I do when I fly uh, or travel. So it's not a, oh, I forgot something or, hey, I need to, you know, kind of pare down what I've got. It's just great. Let's take this kit. I can fit it just about anywhere. Uh, I don't recommend carry on. Uh, I did get stopped at one airport. They didn't, they didn't mind letting it go, but it does get you flagged. So it's going in checked bags from now on, but, uh, it travels great. And, um, I don't know. That's about all I can say about it. So, uh, there you go. That's my final decision. Uh, I tend to be, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I tend to tend to stick with stuff for a pretty long time. I'm, I'm a little more fickle with some other tools and stuff. Cause I like playing around, but you know, for me, this is about simplicity. These work. They're very difficult to over torque. I know that they're set to what I need when I grab it. I don't have to try dialing it in. I don't have to worry about reading it in bad lighting. And uh, that's the end of the story. So I hope all of these videos have helped you make a decision. If it's not the, you know, the fix it sticks, that's cool. There's plenty of other great torque wrenches and torque screwdrivers that I reviewed. And there's probably reasons why they might work better for you than the fix it sticks. Um, you know, there's something for everybody, but for me, it's the fix it sticks. So there you go. Have a great day. Talk to you later.